The more I play Deep Rock Galactic, the more I realize how easy it is to get surrounded by hundreds of bugs. Now there are plenty of ways to deal with these situations, from perk choices, grenades, and of course trusty flamethrowers, but this build handles things a bit more directly. One of the coolest parts about this build is that it doesn't require any overclocks, making it come online very early. In fact, it really doesn't rely on your primary or secondary weapons at all, starting with what no dwarf leaves home without. The pickaxe is our first melee option. We've got the basic swing, and of course the power attack. Out of the three tier two mod options, I tend to say pick your favorite here, but I'll share my recommendation after we take a look at them. Serrated Edge doubles the damage of your melee power attack, and the Shockwave mod doubles its area of effect, making it better at clearing out a swarm that's right in your face. Now, technically speaking, these mods are both going to increase your DPS, but only once every 30 seconds. This makes better weight balance very tempting, as it gives you a 20 second cooldown as opposed to 30. In spite the damage lost, faster cooldown is my recommendation for this build in particular for a couple of reasons. The first being reliability. Most bugs explode from the basic 120 damage of your power attacks. You're also not always going to be surrounded, and sometimes you just whiff. Besides, we have several other tools to deal with both swarms and durable targets. I have a second reason why I recommend this, but I'll get to that later. But before we move on, I'd be silly not to mention the armor breaking potential of the power attack. It'll deal great damage regardless of where you hit the bugs, and it can give you another target to hit. Just like how you can help me with my next target of 500 subscribers. I release videos every week with tips for various games, often paired with a healthy helping of sarcasm. Now let's take a look at the meat of this build, our reinforced power drills. For our tier 1 mod, barbed drills, no contest. For tier 2, magnetic refrigeration is generally better because it offers faster cooling. For tier 3, you've got plenty of options so take your pick. I'm joking, but this does affect your drill speed. The last mod is a skill question. If you can't stop yourself from overheating, like I often do, take bloody cold drills because it means you'll never overheat while drilling enemies. If you're confident in your heat management, then more ammo equals more drilling equals more bug splattering. Don't forget these beauties are also great at armor breaking, and to top them off, they have a chance to fear the bugs, which makes them rethink all of their life decisions and run away as fast as they can. For our throwable, the driller has some really cool options, but let's stick with the good old impact axe. Shall we look at why? Great single target damage, good area damage, stun on hit, and you can pick it up if you're bad. On top of that, the damage is considered melee on both instances. Guess what that means? It's finally time to dive into the gel that holds this build together, the vampire perk. Whether you kill something the size of a grunt or larger with a melee attack, you'll heal 5 health. In case you weren't paying attention, that means that every tool we've spoken about can heal us. Our pick, our drills, even our axes deal melee damage including from the area of effect from axes and power attacks. This is the other reason I recommended the cooldown for the pickaxe since it gives you more opportunities to stay in the fight. So what else do we take? My go-to second choice is thorns. You're already in melee and it's great for dealing with swarmers if you couldn't be bothered. They don't trigger vampire though. For your third option, probably pick your favorite, but some useful options here are sweet tooth for more healing or unstoppable to reduce slowdowns. Now we do have a few options for active perks that influence our melee damage, but one of these tends to be a little bit more reliable. Specifically this one, we're after that passive bonus. When you're hit by melee, you deal bonus melee damage. Enough that you can one-shot grunts with a regular pickaxe swing to the head. Sounds OP on this build, doesn't it? Well, there's a catch. What this melee damage bonus doesn't tell you is that the extra damage applies only to the basic pickaxe swings, not to your power attack, drills, or axes. At least it doesn't take any ammo and doesn't use your cooldown, so it is a useful backup to have. If you're looking for the ultimate melee burst, then Berserker is an obvious choice. The problem is the 4 minute cooldown, how easy it is to activate accidentally, and that it only affects affects the pickaxe. I'm sensing a pattern. Iron Will is always a great backup for all classes, and as far as I can tell, it, it does increase all of your damage from all of your damage sources. Dash, Field Medic, and Steve are also always useful, so mix and match and see what you like. Now let's ask the question. Is this build good? Yeah, sort of. 
there's a lot of options that simply don't affect your drills, and even with Vampire, you'll be taking way more damage from being surrounded by enemies more often. Personally, I like to run this as my backup option and use the other weapons first. If they get too close, I've got a great solution, but usually the best bug is one that melted on the other side of the room. Is it fun? Oh yeah, it's hilarious. Running up to larger targets and drilling them into submission is fantastic. Do you think the drills should get more bonuses for their melee damage? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I'm your benefactor, and I pray you have a wonderful day.